Hello again, everyone. It's Vince Forer from TradingWiz.com, and this is our update for March 26th, 2019. Let's take a quick look at today's markets. We did see equities closing higher today, led by financials and technology stocks. The Dow Industrial Average closing higher by 140 points, while the S&P 500 finished higher by 20 points. The NASDAQ 100 uh, added 54 points and the Russell 2000 climbing by 15 points. The bond market was fairly quiet and the yield on the 10 year note holding steady at 2.421%. Crude oil bouncing back sharply. Um, it was higher uh, by $1.22 or a little over 2%. This on, um, on OPEC supply cuts and expectations of lower u.s inventories while gold uh, retreated today closing lower by seven dollars and fifty cents at the official close um, while the u.s dollar uh, bouncing back today now if we have a look at bed bath and beyond this stock and let me show you by going to the monthly chart here after hitting the high in 2015 here has been steadily dropping i mean it, it's it's just been a crazy drop here after hitting a high of eighty dollars it put in a low at 1046 so you know losing over 80 percent here uh on this drop but has the bottom been put in that is the question we've seen you know or, or, or seen many articles talking about how there have been several private equity firms uh considering a purchase offer for them but nothing really has come together so where do we go from here uh nice gap today Closing higher by a little over three dollars. There we go. Um, you know, pretty much closing this previous big gap. If you look at the weekly chart, you know, we have now put in a higher low here, uh, which is uh, interesting. And we haven't closed above this high, but we certainly traded above it. So we've put in now a higher low, higher high on the weekly chart, the monthly. Though, as you can see, we're still a little ways away from that. And we, we're sitting right near overhead resistance right now. So this next test here, uh, very important. I think we need to get through uh, the $20 level. If we can get through the $20 level, we're cur currently sitting near 17 If we can get through the $20 level, we, th this stock could get something going. But it certainly has its work cut out for it as momentum is sharply sharply lower so obviously if they get some kind of an offer we'll probably see a pop but until then um this needs to work through over overhead resistance and once it's through 20 of course it should have lots of room to run but you know it will run into again significant overhead resistance above 30 but uh, for now let's see how this test works out here and see if BBBY can get through that $20 level. That's about it for now. Enjoy the rest of your day, and we'll see you on our next update.